Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to play music in C++. So let's get right into it. Firstly, this is only going to work for WAV files, and the other file format won't work with this technique, and you need to be on the Windows operating system. So make sure you import windows.h, mmsystem.h, io stream, and then do pragma comment lib winmm.lib. We need to import these libraries and then link the Windows Multimedia Library to our program. So we have got three lines of code. The first one is just a little simple print statement to say we're playing music. And the third one is also a thing to say that the music is over. However, what's in the middle? Well, we're going to be using a play sound function. We're then going to do text and the name of our web file or the file path. Then we're going to do a parameter which is null, then we're going to do snd file name, then a, a vertical line, then snd sync. Let's break this down. The first parameter is going to be the sound file that's going to be played. Since we're providing the file path, we need to do text brackets with the name of our file in there. We put null here because we are passing in a file path to tell play sound where the WAV file is to play. SND file name just signifies, right, we've been provided with a file path to the file to play, and SND sync is for synchronous playing, meaning we're going to play this sound, and the program is going to wait for that sound to finish before we go on to the next line of code. In Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, click open folder in File Explorer, then you can go to this debug folder, and this is where your program will be by default, and this is where our WAV file is going to be by default. Our relative file path is going to be right next to our program executable, and this will differ depending on the IDE you are using. Let's play the music! And after the music is finished, it says music over. That was Megalovania from the great game Undertale. I highly recommend you play it if you have some time. Then you press enter to close the program and that's it. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials.